what's up guys? It's Claudio and we're back at Floyd Bennett. And it's Thursday, Thursdays with Claudio. It's my second Thursday, I guess that's official. That's it guys, it's Thursdays with Claudio. Let's get it. Man, this is a throwback, August. I had some race fitness, I remember it. I was cruising. This is the 3-4 the race, Floyd Bennett Field in uh, like New York, Queens, New York, near the airport. It's an abandoned airport. Uh, field. This is where I got started. This is where, this is my first race ever. I did it right here. I did exactly this, but in the Cat 5 way back in uh, 2018. I've been racing for four seasons. Wait, the 18th season, 19th season, 20th season I raced, 2021. Okay, this is my fifth season. Fifth season of racing. Wow. I've come quite a way. I've come some ways you know what somebody in the comments said dude you got to do like a progression video where you you show like um you start from the beginning and you just show clips of like how your progression your cycling progression and it would be so funny because i would start like my first few races if you saw like if i saw 300 watts on my power i, I have like five seconds before i'm done five seconds before i'm dead meat <laughs> like I just could not hold that. Like my threshold back then was like maybe 215, 220. And it wasn't, and I didn't have any top end fitness. I didn't have any VO2 because I was training for triathlons. So I didn't have this like spiky race fitness. And every time I went up, if I even saw 400, if I spiked it up, forget it. I was out of the race right away. So I've come some ways. Let's, let's talk about this race uh, real quick. Average uh, power 179, normalized 221 watts. Average speed 26, that's legit. 26 is legit for a 3-4 race, guys. Uh, people were doing stuff here. I was sitting in the first. At this race, what I do, I sit in for eight laps. Then I try to do something. I can't sustain, I can't. Like, if I'm in a break, I gotta be with 10 people. And I gotta be the, I can't do, I gotta do the least amount of work. Somebody told me, um, do the least amount of work out of the group that you're in. Like, always try to do the least amount of work in the group that you're in. And that's kind of like a, a, a tactic, a strategy. Um, we're, I'm skipping to six laps in because it just it's nothing. I, there's no nothing exciting. We're gonna we're gonna watch the rest of uh, the last four laps here, the last three laps. Anyways, that's very interesting because yes, do the least amount of work and you'll be the most fresh. Oh, there's a wreck. Something happened. I don't remember. Alrighty. Oh, maybe that was a preem. Wow, what's happening here? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we got three laps, the seventh, ninth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Well, we got four laps. I always got to count because I, you know, it's like confusing. We got four laps to go. Things are happening. There was a preem. They were animating the thing. It's 31 miles an hour, and I'm at the top of the race. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's anything going on, like a, a break. I forgot, man. I forgot. I forgot even the wind direction. It's something crazy, like left to right or right to left, here. Um, but anyways, if you're not on a team, you are, you have zero responsibility to do anything. And people should know that you shouldn't be like, you don't pull the entire field. Hello. You know, like there are people in this field that are, that have FTPs 70 Watts above mine. Okay. And this is a flat race. So that is actually a lot of a lot of cash money in their pockets, right? Because they, they'll be heavier, but they can cruise. They're, they got the power. And I'm not pulling them. Some people have a 1400 watt sprint. On a flat race, it's gonna take them a long way. You don't pull these people, you don't help them, right? You gotta think about that. You gotta think about it. If you're pulling the whole field, that you're helping people win. And, then they're, and if you're not on the team, what what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Try like uh, you know like I don't know like I guess you got you got to try to win. You got 
know. You got to try to win. I'm trying to do something, and I'm trying to be strategic, and I don't like pulling the whole field. That's my thing. And I don't like pulling people that are faster, that I know for sure, for a fact, are way faster than me. Because it makes no sense. Now, if I somehow get myself in a break, then I have to pull. But I also have to know that people are way stronger. I cannot sustain um, a 28 mile an average breakaway because um, it'll blow me up. It's gonna dip, guys. If you're in a break with me, the average speed is gonna dip. It's just, the, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna go down to 25. For my pull, maybe 26, depends on the wind. And then you gotta pull it back. You gotta pull it back up to 29. And wow, so, something's happening here. And that's just a fact. Because my power is like, if I wanna stay in that break, I cannot blow myself up. I can't do 400 watt pulls for a minute, you know? Anyways, so we're doing something here. Um, the wind might be coming from right to left. I don't know now. Maybe from left to right. Shoot, there was a flag back there. I should have seen it. Should have watched. Stuff is happening, guys. Um, by the way, um, thank you guys for subscribing and supporting. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. We already got, whoa, attacks. We're at 10, we're at 9,000 right now. Subscribe, support the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, smash the like button. The whole thing, guys, it's gonna be lit. Every Thursday, I'm here, Thursdays with Claudio. I'm putting in some time. These videos take time. Like the amount, that you, like you know, you can see that I'm, I'm doing stuff here. And then this is not my job. So thank you so much for your support. If you want to follow me on Instagram during the week, I post all, all kinds of stuff, like what I do, what I train, what I eat, all my intervals, uh, Instagram stories. Check it out, Claudio underscore Fierro. Um, and today I did some sweet spot. Oh, I've been off the bike for a week. I, for, I forgot to, I realized that today when I was on the trainer. I was like, when was the last time I did a workout? Exactly one week ago. Because <clears throat> I was working like an animal all weekend. And then I got kind of sick. I got a little bit sick. I think it was from surfing because I swallowed so much of that nasty ocean water from New York. Forget it. Who knows what's in there? It made my stomach all weird and I felt kind of weird. Um, that's another thing you know, you, people don't talk about. The ocean, the ocean like will make you sick. It, there's all kinds of crap in there. <laughs> there's like sewage in there. <laughs> what's going on here? I think we're, oh, we're going, we're, we're coming up on the women's field, maybe? Oh, there was a crash, something. Something's happening, so we gotta, like, uh, kind of sort of low-key neutralize. Oh, yeah, there was a crash. Oh, man. Crash. A lot of crashes. Oh, there were a lot of crashes that day. Anyways, <clears throat> surfing. I've been surfing. I've been off the week, off the bike for a week. And I, I did some um, sweet spot intervals, four times 11 minutes at like 210 to 230, something like that. And I was doing it, my heart rate was kind of high. And, um, but it, it kind of knocked me out, man. I, went, I, I got them done. I went upstairs, got something to eat, and I like immediately fell asleep. And my legs felt so heavy. Um, so I'm doing this, I'm working, I have basically two more weeks of just like, tooling around and training kind of like for fun then I have a week off another week off but a, an intentional week off that is like my reset I wonder if this week that I just took is like a, a proper reset because you know every season people do like a reset some people do a week some people do two weeks I just did one whole week accidentally but I put a lot of fatigue in my body because of work this other reset that I'm doing in November second week in November is because I'm going to Israel for a wedding and hopefully it doesn't fatigue me all the traveling which i know it will but um that's the idea that's like my proper scheduled um break my reset then i'm gonna start for reels but then we got thanksgiving oh man i gotta go to north carolina i gotta bring my trainer i'm bringing my dog the whole thing um and I gotta drive, it's a 10 hour drive. So it's, oh, and then Christmas. Okay, so it's like hard guys, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill it. 
I'm trying to do 10 hours a week uh, during my base of like sweet spot and zone two, long zone twos. Whoa, here we go. Okay, we got something. People are attacking. It looks like it's an attack. I think that's the top of the race. I don't know if it's um, if it's a breakaway, like some if they're trying to bridge. Um, I'm holding this wheel here. Let's look, let's look at the wind. Let me see what's happening here. There's some flags in there already. There's a gap. <clears throat> what's happening here? Um, let's see. Well, let's see what the wind direction is. There there should be a flag here, that's gonna be telling. Even though I'm going to get hit either way from left to right or right to left. <clears throat> We're going 30. Let's go. Okay, it's from, uh, from right to left. I'm getting slammed right to left. Okay, the attack has been brought back. And we are, we're all together. Um, there's a gap here. And I don't want to close that. Or do I? Do I close gaps now? Is that what I'm doing? That's not very promising to me. It's not very appetizing. The, and um, I'm not sure if those guys can do two, two laps. Maybe they can by themselves. Oh, Aviv. Aviv here in the green socks. He loves to get in a break. So he's going to try to do something. But am I going to follow? I'm, doing, I'm already at 180 BPM. I'm not feeling great. I know myself. I'm not going to push even more here. I can't see behind me. Oh, good. Am I getting in, in a good draft here? Um, anyways, we got pretty much two laps to go. Now, let's see what happens. Guys, I, I cut this up. I cut this video up, and I didn't watch it. I did just like, let's just do the last, the end of it. Oh, that's the break. That's the break. You see Aviv just snapped in the green. He loves that. He loves it. He's all about that. Um, I don't go because that's a huge match. That's that's huge and I can't contribute if I light it up and I get up there I'm basically a dummy like you can't count on me for anything. I'm just sitting there Wasting your time because then you're gonna flick your elbow and I'm literally I'm gonna I, I Won't even pass you because I'll be going as hard as I can already a lot of people do that They win the break and they'll flick their elbow and they'll go like that, and I'll like stay in the same place, and, but I'm actually like, because I'm getting hit with all the wind suddenly, and I can't go anymore, because that's all the watts that I have, and they'll look at me like, yo, go. I'm like, I'm going. <laughs> I, can't, I can't push it up to 29. I gotta I, like stay at 25, it's so lame. <laughs> that's the worst. The guy's like, really? Like, you're not gonna pull? Bro, I'm pulling. I'm doing, I'm pulling hard here. <laughs> but it's just not hard enough. But uh, these efforts, these matches, I've got them, but they're like a two second match, you know? Oh, I shut that down. Cause that's a huge match. I know that's gonna hurt me, man. I gotta just get in a wheel. I'm at 184 BPM. This is hard. This is hurting. Like I can't just cruise around like that. I gotta lower my heart rate. Whoa. When people go backwards that fast, we must be going kind of fast. It's 31. And you see people drop back and they're just like out of steam and they're trying to slot back in, but we're going like five miles an hour faster. And that's a big difference. People fall back fast. Okay, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some movement here. We got two laps to go. Two laps and things are moving up. I'm in the draft. My heart rate is still over 180. It ain't good. I can't do anything. If I'm at 180, 182, 184, I can. I got just very limited time. I can just sit in. And of course, I'm not looking at anything. I'm not looking at my heart rate during the race. I don't have that metric on me. I just have a, a timer. I'm looking at it now, and it's like confirming that when I feel that way, I don't do anything unless it's like the very, very end of the race, you know, the, the final whatever, 400 meters. But this, I'm just, I'm just holding on. I'm grinding my teeth. I'm holding. Let's go, Claudio. 
I'm grinding through this. Okay, the field is here. I hear them all. We got the yellow jersey behind me. He's a sprinter. He's going for the sprint. That dude just sits in. I watched him. The yellow jersey, the sprinters? It's fun to watch them because they don't do anything. They know what, they know that they have to chill. Or when it comes down to the field sprint, they're not gonna have it. And so they kind of just play it like, um, they're, they're, they're rolling the dice and they're, they're, they're hoping that it's gonna be a field sprint. Or some of these guys, they try to get in a break, but once you get in a break and you gotta do work, then it kind of kills your sprint. So the pure sprinters, they just sit in. And maybe they have teammates that do some work for them to try to bring it back to a field sprint. But this guy, I don't think he does, the yellow. Coming up, um, one and a half to go. Man, this is exciting. By the way, I did not get any flats this year. Zero flats. And here, at this race, it's like everybody gets flats. In last, the, the previous seasons, I, I got like four flats. And the thing that I changed was, I changed to 20 hits. Ooh, I'm moving up. Nice, Claudio. Let's go. That was sweet. Just slot back in though. Come on, get in there. Look at this train. Look at this team train. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get up in there. We're coming in with um, one lap to go. Okay, what was I saying? Wow, what was I saying? Uh, sprinters. Oh man, I forgot. That's so lame. Someone remind me in the comments what I was saying. Um. Okay, we got the sprinters. We were talking about the sprinters that, that aren't doing anything and they are just chilling. And it's great to watch them. Anyways, um, let's see what's happening here. I'm, I'm doing unnecessary stuff. Am I getting in the, up in the wind? Like, what am I doing? I'm too far up. Sometimes you're just too far up. If you see me and there's like an open, there's like openness in front of me like this, I'm getting hit with wind. And look, it's 22 miles an hour because I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, pull. I'm not going to pull the whole field. And I'm still doing a little bit above threshold. Forgot what my threat, my threshold here is like 265, I believe. <clears throat> um, Let's see what's happening. Okay, we're gonna get swarmed. It's coming up with one lap to go, guys. One lap. We got the yellow. This is gonna be exciting, guys. Last lap vibes, last lap. I love it. I love the last lap. People, some people can't stand it. And those people are, they're still at break. Remember that break with Aviv? I think he's up there. I, I haven't seen him. <clears throat> so he got away. The question is, is he going to stay away? And Aviva's strong. I know, I used to ride with him. Strong diesel guy. And he knows how to race, too. He knows all about. He's experienced. So he's going to try to get away. That's his jam. Um, I'm not going to pull any of this stuff back. And it's going to come down to... A field sprint plus that breakaway up there if we, we got to catch him. We were doing 29, so maybe, you know, maybe we'll catch him. I don't even know, honestly. Let's see. Oh, I think we caught him. It looks like we did. Maybe. Maybe not. I saw one of the guys fall back. I think he was in it. Um, oh, at the end of the race? It's so funny. Especially at this race, at Floyd Bennett. You go, you finish the race. Oh, oh, a crash. Oh man, I forgot about that. I forgot it was right there. Um, overlap, I think it was an overlap. I don't know, I heard it. I was like, oh, well, wasn't me. Um, I'm sure that guy's okay. I think, I hope. I hope you're okay, man. Hey, I've overlapped, I overlap all the time. Sometimes the Lord just is not watching out for you when you overlap. And sometimes you got to hold it because sometimes you just freak out. You get spooked from the overlap and you, you just lose it. You lose, you lose control. 
um, when you and one of the things that you got to do is you got to like steer into the wheel it sounds messed up but if you steer into it and, and you'll rub a little bit whatever it's better than than going down and taking people out and getting a concussion you got to lean you got to steer into the, the wheel in front of you and kind of scuff it up a little bit but whatever it's better and it happens so fast so like if you don't if you don't have time to do that I, you know I get it okay last lap frenzy oh I, okay so at the end of the race people are people complain so much at the race it's funny it's like it's like all these groups of people are like and then he went to the right and then I tried to go to the right and then like what happened was like no what happened was like I didn't clip in and then the guy he tried to bunny hop the thing and there's like just a bunch of groups of people complaining about like what happened like come on like the race is over it's all good but it's so funny everybody has like their own version of what happened and it's just a bunch of complaining and it's like it's always the same always people crash always people cut somebody somebody cuts somebody off always like somebody slams a brake and blah 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 it's all it's always gonna happen at these races like you just gotta have you gotta stomach this stuff and you gotta have fun with it it's all good guys and this is it we're coming up with like 800 meters to go 1k right here and i'm a little bit far back but what am i gonna do am i am i gonna i gotta get up there oh all right i'm moving up i'm burning a match here though 500 watts to, to move myself up i'm getting up there another match right here another little baby match but now look at this wide open space it's so bad <laughs> I, I need shelter i need to get on a wheel come on claudio get on a wheel what is this this is what i'm saying if you see like wide openness in front of me that's bad i need to see a wheel and like a bunch of other wheels like sheltering me i couldn't slot back in that cost me look at my heart rate i'm already at 190. oh come on i don't we have a little bit over 400 meters right here let's go hop on a wheel snatch it get in there here it is 400 meters grab that wheel claudio grab it let's go push oh man i have nothing they're taking off I'm kind of in the middle of this thing and it's like, I'm not catching them. That's right there, the top 10 easily. And here comes some of those, uh, the late sprinters. My heart rate is 191. Can I make up any ground? No, I'm going backwards. Last hundred meters, I'm going backwards. I lost, I lost all, all my energy back there trying to move up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thursdays with Claudio subscribe you know what to do smash that like button i will see you guys next thursday peace